This video covers IGCSE Biology Objective 1.1.1D on the 2025 CAIE syllabus to describe the characteristics of living organisms by describing growth. So let's define growth first. It is a permanent increase in two ways, one through size and the other through dry mass. So let's talk about what those two mean. Size increase occurs in two different ways in different types of organisms. So first, we're looking at an increase in the size of an actual cell. Typically, we'll find this in most living organisms, um, but this can be relevant to single-celled organisms. We also see a size increase in the number of cells. This typically has to do with multicellular organisms. Dry mass increase is a bit more reliable measure of mass of a sample after the water content has been removed. So we're just looking at the components of the cell without water. So you can typically see this in graphs. So for example, we're looking at a seed that is germinating over a particular period of time, and the dry mass in this instance would be measured in grams. So as a seed begins to germinate and sprout the beginnings of a stem and a root, we see the dry mass of that particular organism reduce as the fat storage starts to be used and broken down. Once the seed can start to photosynthesize by green leaves, then the bulk of the cell will begin to increase, and so the dry mass now will increase in that particular cell, uh, in that particular organism. So again, biologists use a list of characteristics that living organisms show. We have been looking at growth Remember that all living organisms must show all of these characteristics, otherwise they cannot be classified as a living organism. You can use the mnemonic Mrs. Gren to remember the list of seven characteristics and we have been looking at the G in Mrs. Gren for growth.